the Xbox One, the new console. That's the new console for the Xbox, the new generation console we got coming up later this year. I got my boy Rambo here to discuss the new generation Xbox coming up. But before I do that, I want to say my condolences to all the people uh, in Oklahoma who suffered uh, from the tornado that ran through Oklahoma. Uh, of all the kids and the family members of those kids, and my condolences out to you guys. Now, shifting gears, we're going to be talking about the Xbox One. First of all, Rambo. The title of the new system, the Xbox One, what was, your, what was your immediate thoughts once you heard that? Um, well, with the, uh, you know, Microsoft completely ignoring the fact that you should never buy a version one of anything. It's like, why would you call it one when it's not one? It's actually number three. But, uh, I think they could have been a lot. They didn't even have to be creative with this name. They could have just called it the Xbox. They could have called it the 720 or like you mentioned to me frequent um on a number of times they could have called it infinity uh but infinity one a lot better yeah i one i'm trying to figure out what possessed them to name it the, one the thing about it is when, when i think of xbox one i think of the initial xbox that came out and a lot of people are going to think about the initial xbox that came out and when in real a, rea uh, reality the xbox one was the was the one that actually came out in 2001 not the one that came out that's coming out later this year and a lot of people are going to be confused about that like I said, Infinity could have been the name of the console. Uh, to me, Infinity rolls off a little bit better off the tongue than Xbox One. Uh, they didn't have to be too dramatic with the title. They could have kept it, you know, simple, but a little bit more unique than Xbox One. It, but then again, PlayStation doesn't, you know, have no unique name with their console. So I guess they weren't trying to, you know, go out the box with a new name. So anyway, let's get into a little bit of the specs about the uh, console. We all know that uh, if you watched the uh, presentation earlier today, uh, Connect is going to be built in with the, with the system. Now, the guy I talked about, forgot his name, talked about this new voice control feature that will allow you to turn the Xbox on, allow you to navigate through the home page, allow you to navigate through Skype and the TV series and the music. Now, what do you think about that integration and in, uh, in this new technology that they're using to incorporate all of this? Um, advantages, you know, you want to buy the Connect separate. Uh... You pretty, it'll be easier to, you know, work the home page to, say, use your joystick or you just don't feel like grabbing it off the table or floor or whatever you may put your joystick. Um, the voice command system, the only thing I really knew about it is the fact that you can actually cut your Xbox on with it. Uh, that's actually, you know, pretty cool. Before, you could just navigate, you know, through the Xbox Live uh, home page and, you know, all the other side screens that they have. So yeah, it's, a, it's some some great additions to it. Yeah, now picking back off that, the guy, if you watch the live tape, the live event, he, he kept putting an emphasis on being able to multitask, being able to have programs open and being able to do different stuff uh, at multiple times. Now, we learned that the new system, the new console is gonna have eight gigabytes of RAM, which will allow uh, the, the ability to multitask between Skype or your game. Uh, and then he also showed in a demo of you being able to uh, look at your uh, home page while also looking at different things such as uh, you could be playing your game or watching a movie or whatnot and with eight gigabytes of RAM the, the speed to do all of those things and have all those programs open uh, is accessible to do those type of things now what do you think about eight gigabytes of RAM eight, gig, eight gigabytes of RAM um, I'm really I'm looking forward to playing you know like uh, specific games like um when I, I'm gonna use Sky, I'm gonna just use Skyrim as an example, or uh, uh, Dishonored games like that that are usually made for the PC and that have better graphics on the PC because of the higher amount of RAM that the PC has. You know, games like Borderlands. I would love Borderlands looks incredible on the PC because of it the does. amount. Of, yeah, because of the amount of RAM that your computer has. So I'm looking. I'm looking forward to the graphics. The graphics. I want to see great graphics from this new Xbox. Now, and as you've seen, uh, Rambo, they did show graphically uh, what Forza Motorsport Five is going to look like. Now, what was your impressions when you actually saw Forza Motorsport Five? I thought it looked amazing. I know. I did thought it looked amazing. My first thought was that this looked amazing. Second thought was, is the game actually going to look like what they're portraying? Because you know, when when you watch, you know, the trailer or what they or you know, the video, the gameplay it make it look a lot better than what it actually is mm -hmm. so I'm hoping that they actually live up to what they showed me and portray a great game because I'm a fan of Forza me too now I'm a, I didn't play the last couple of Forzas but I was initially a fan of the first two uh, Forza games that come out and just based off what I saw it looks amazing now what it'll actually look like 
couple months from now, which they also said for the most part five will be available at launch. So it'll be a launch title game that a lot of users, a lot of Xbox 360 fans will be able to experience when the system first uh, initially comes out. Now running down a couple more, couple uh, of the specs we got, like I said, eight gigabyte RAM, 500 gigabyte hard drive, uh, the Blu-ray accessible, it's gonna have HDMI and a USB port, 1080p camera uh, for the Kinect, uh, like I said, built-in voice control, which will allow you to power on and being able to navigate. Uh, one thing I want to talk about is the smart glass, what they will allow it, uh, talking about when you can actually move your hands to navigate to the pages, uh, being able to move your hand up to navigate up, being able to move your hand down and navigate down, sideways to navigate. I think that integration of technology shows where we're at in this day and age, being able to use your hands to navigate without actually using a controller or a remote control. I think that's amazing where they've come from, and I think that's going to be something groundbreaking that uh, a lot of these new uh, developers, especially for the Nintendo uh, with their Wii U and the PS4 with their motion control, I don't think no one's done that where you can actually use smart glass as a way to be able to navigate anywhere without the use of any external source or remote control or whatnot. Uh, another uh, thing, Rambo, I know this is where you come in as far as the built-in DVR, being able to record your games and edit your games. Oh, edit your clips right from the system itself. What are your thoughts about that? That, that is going to be um, very convenient. I know, I um, mean, yeah, I'm looking forward to it because right now my room sort of looks like, I don't know, like you said, a radio shack. You got, wi <laughs> you got wires everywhere, you know, being able to just record right from that system, eliminate a lot of junk from my room, you know. I, I feel like I wasted money on my PVR, but, you know. What are you going to do with your PVR once I you got it? I don't know. I'm, I'm going to sell it to some kid that doesn't know any better. Um, <laughs> smart man, smart man. <laughs> but yeah, so the built-in DVR will allow everybody. Now my thing is when I was thinking about this is what is it going to do for YouTube? Everybody's going to be able to put their own footage. Is YouTube going to be unique now because everybody's going to have footage up? Now it's like the people that only have footage are the people that have capture devices. So now what is YouTube going to become with everybody being able to record their own footage and post it on YouTube? That's going to be interesting to see right. they're going down the year. And everybody knows that uh, the PlayStation 4 has built-in DVR, so they'll be able to do the same thing. We will see in the coming months what that's going to be like. Uh, a couple of things here. They talked about 15 new exclusives, eight of which are brand new. Now, we know uh, the seven exclusives that are for the Xbox 360. It'll be interesting to see these new exclusives, the eight new exclusives that they're going to be having, and how it's going to match up against the PlayStation's exclusives. Everybody knows the, the knock on the uh, 360 or Xbox is that they have no exclusives. PlayStation has all the exclusives. Now with these eight new exclusives combined with the seven that they've already had, where does that put the Xbox in terms of exclusives? Because everybody, at least my opinion, the multiplayer is always better on Xbox. Now with these new exclusives, we'll see, we have to wait and see how good they really are, but where will that match up with the PlayStation in terms of the exclusives? I want to talk about the Halo TV series, what do you think about Halo uh, becoming its own, they having its own little show now of Halo? I mean, Halo becoming its own little show. Um, they, they, they did that. I guess I guess that um, the Red vs. Blues will kind of be like a trial run of what they're trying to do as far as giving it like a, a whole season, you know, of Halo. Um, there's a lot of story into it. You know, they can do the same thing they did with the Star Wars Clone Wars, show you like the little um, mini wars inside the actual war. You know, it, it it got a lot. It have a lot to do. They can actually show people the uh, the background of the Spartans, which is really fucked up, by the way. Um, yeah, and it it would be a great story. It, it, it'll be really interesting that they added Steven Spielberg uh, to the mix, who's the great writer, and uh, we'll actually see in the coming coming uh, months, coming uh, next year, how that's going to turn out. Uh, but yeah, we'll, we'll wait for E three to to, re, to see the real big news about the price. Uh, the price of the game, the price of the console, and all this extra stuff, the release date. Uh, we'll wait for e uh, E3 for all that. Uh, they talk about EA and how the sports games are going to look. I'm not going to dive into that. To talk about Call of Duty Ghosts, I'm not going to dive into that. We're going to save that for later on uh, for E3. But I will say the Xbox One looks amazing. Uh, and we'll just have to see uh, in a, in next month uh, some more details about it. But yeah, so this is the Xbox One update, impression starts. Let me know what you guys think below. Subscribe to Rambo and his channel. And the link will be in the description. And uh, this is your boy Retro. That's Rambo. Peace.